the tremendous growth of computation around the world poses serious challenges to our energy security and even contributes to global warming. New paradigms of computation, which are much more energy efficient, are a need of the hour. Spintronics represents a paradigm shift wherein we build computing devices using magnetic materials such that an electron's spin is employed for computation in addition to its charge. Spintronics enables the creation of highly energy efficient memory and switching devices by offering several favorable attributes like non-volatility for embedded memory applications and almost unlimited endurance for prolonged life. It also ensures scalable fabrication of devices with fewer lithography mask layers, making it a cost-effective and highly competitive technology. The fundamental building block in Spintronics is a device called the Magnetic Tunnel Junction, commonly called an MTJ. An MTJ simply consists of two ferromagnetic layers separated by a thin, insulating non-magnetic layer. Information is stored in the MTJ using the relative orientation of the magnetization of the two ferromagnets, denoted here by the red and black arrows. When the two ferromagnets are aligned anti-parallel, the MTJ exhibits a high resistance. This makes the MTJ behave as a memory storing bit zero or a switch which is off. In contrast, when the two ferromagnets are aligned parallel, the MTJ stores one as a memory or behaves as a switch that is on. Thus, computation is reduced to toggling the MTJ between parallel and anti-parallel state. To do this, one of the ferromagnetic layers is kept fixed, denoted here by a thicker arrow. The layer can then be toggled between up and down to achieve the parallel and anti-parallel states. Presently, MTJs are built using bulk magnetic materials. However, when these devices are shrunk to achieve advanced technology nodes, they start facing issues. The interface roughness becomes comparable to individual layer thickness, and there is significant interlayer diffusion of atomic species. This results in degraded device performance and device-to-device -device variability. A solution to this issue is to use two-dimensional Van der Waals magnetic materials to build the MTJs. By their nature, Van der Waals materials maintain atomically smooth interfaces and sharp boundaries even when shrunk to single layer thickness, offering an ideal path to creating scalable, energy-efficient spintronic devices. While the idea of 2D magnetic materials for spintronics has existed for long, they were discovered experimentally just a few years ago and could only operate at very low temperatures, much like superconductors. Thus, it was critical to build spintronic devices using Van der Waals magnets which can operate at room temperature and be controlled electrically using current or voltage pulses. To solve this issue, we have grown a new Van der Waals ferromagnet, iron gallium telluride, which offers a uniquely favorable set of properties for building spintronic devices. It sustains magnetism over 75 degrees Celsius, is metallic, exhibits a strong perpendicular magnetic anisotropy and is free of rare earth elements, providing an ideal platform for designing room temperature 2D spintronic devices. To enable electrical control of magnetism, we have used the principle of current-based spin-orbit torque switching. It leverages the fact that in certain materials like platinum that have a high spin-orbit coupling, electrons scatter based on their spin state. This results in a phenomena called the spin hall effect, which allows converting a flow of electric charge current into an orthogonal spin current. In our device, the lateral current flowing in the platinum layer generates an orthogonal spin current through the spin hall effect, which interacts with the ferromagnet under to cause switching. Thus, by applying positive or negative current pulses, we can switch the ferromagnet's magnetization through 180 degree, providing a way of controlling the magnet electrically. This scheme results in robust, non-volatile switching of the ferromagnet in response to an arbitrary train of current pulses, 
as is required for operation in a computer. By combining a new material with superior properties and the spin orbit torque switching mechanism, we have created a solution for switching Van der Waals magnets electrically above room temperature. Notably, our device also requires the lowest switching current density among all Van der Waals magnet based, proving its effectiveness for achieving energy efficient computing. With this critical milestone achieved, the path to integrating 2D magnetic materials into scalable, energy-efficient spintronic devices has opened up.